The goal of this procedure is to detect and accurately quantify the relative abundance of specific proteins within a complex biological sample using quantitative fluorescent western blotting. This is accomplished by first electrophoretically separating protein extracts using a precast gradient gel. In the second step, the equivalent protein load is verified across all sample lanes through the application of a total protein stain. And then, the iBlot semi-dry fast transfer system is used to transfer the samples onto a PVDF membrane. Finally, the proteins are probed with specific primary antibodies, followed by the appropriate fluorescent-tagged secondary antibody to facilitate their sensitive, robust, and linear detection at infrared and far-red wavelengths. Ultimately, quantitative fluorescent western blotting can be used to reproducibly detect, visualize, and accurately quantify a large number of membrane-bound and soluble proteins across a broad range of tissue samples. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods, such as ECL-based imaging, is that it allows a greater sensitivity with enhanced precision on a broad linear scale for a truly quantitative readout. Begin by manually macerating the tissue sample, followed by homogenization in freshly prepared extraction buffer at approximately 1 to 10 tissue weight per buffer volume until a smooth, consistent homogenate is produced. Next, centrifuge the cell lysate for 20 minutes at 20,000 times G at 4 degrees Celsius. Then transfer the super...